storm surge and the Mississippi River, as Bradley talked about that. I want to show you a couple uh, interesting uh, tidbits here. Mississippi River in New Orleans is already at minor flood stage 17 feet at this point, and that's it's expected to say pretty steady. That's about four and a half feet shy of the record of 21.3. That was back in 1922. Uh, this will be, though, the highest crest of the Mississippi in New Orleans. It is right now uh, in the last eight years. So that's taking place. That factors into this, the rainfall potential, 10 to 20 inches of rain in the greater New Orleans area. And then you figure in a two to three, maybe up to a four foot storm surge. You're looking at some big problems. So I do want to talk about storm surge. That's one of the things that they're going to be dealing with here over the next uh, 12 to 24 hours in New Orleans. So let me bring a car into the studio and talk about what three to six feet of water will do to a car, how it will float it away. So check this out. You look at three feet of water. I mean, it only takes, you know, like a foot or so to float a car. Now you're dealing with three feet, and then if it goes all the way up to six feet, you're looking at some major problems, not only with cars, but more importantly with people's homes and certainly with people's lives as well. So some big problems, not only in New Orleans, but all across coastal Louisiana. Let me show you what's happening with the system right now. There it is. It's uh, due south of Morgan City. And right now it is uh, winds of 65, so it's a very strong tropical storm. You get to 74, that's technically when you become a hurricane. It'll do that right before landfall uh, tomorrow morning. It's drifting to the west northwest at three. You love to see these tropical storms moving 10, 15, maybe up to 18 miles an hour. This one isn't doing it. The problem is when they move slowly, they dump more rain. Think of Harvey when it just kind of meandered around Texas and dumped all that rain. Not Harvey rainfall for uh, Louisiana, but certainly some problems. It's going to move into Vermilion Bay. It'll move over Marsh Island. So landfall is tomorrow morning, but kind of mainland Louisiana around noon, maybe one o'clock tomorrow. Category one hurricane. The, the water temperatures are like 85 to 90 degrees. That's like high octane fuel for these tropical systems. It moves inland. It'll be here uh, on Saturday night at 7 o'clock. Still strong winds of 60 miles an hour. It'll be up around Monroe as we head through the uh, Sunday evening time frame. And then it'll be uh, just to the north of Little Rock Monday evening. Look at this. I have to call my mom in St. Louis. It'll be in St. Louis, the remnants of it at least. Tuesday evening winds. 60 to 75 plus miles an hour. New Orleans is looking at winds of 50 to 65 mile an hour winds. And then we're looking at 10 to 20 inches of rain in the greater New Orleans area. So a lot of rain, not only there, but also in Baton Rouge and a large chunk of Louisiana. And then a one to a three, maybe up to a six foot storm surge for that part of the state.